Hardcore matchup coming up. Here's one of your specialties, uh, Dirty Deeds. Well, it is, and, uh, you know, I might stick around. 175 pounds, and hand coach is probably one and only. Pistol Pete's a lost brother. So this would be Richie. Come on, come on, think. Quick, quick, quick. Richie, nothing. That's, 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 that's horrible. horrible. That's that's that is horrible. bad, Judge. I gotta make a note. Never put Judge on the spot. Exactly. I have to be prepared. Well, all right, fill us in on this whole team DNA, TNA, well, yeah, TNA, yeah. Team New Era. I've been confused. This has been around for like a year or two. I've been confused about it myself. You know, if I'm confused, with the wealth of knowledge and information within the professional wrestling industry that I am, imagine what your, what your common common fan making six bucks an hour and, and, and scraping together their last penny to come to this show and, and, and you know, eating government cheese and or what, what have you. Imagine, you think they can figure out what the hell TNE is? Fill them in. TNE is just a group of guys that got tired of uh, basically not getting their spot as they say it on the show, so they banded together. And since then, two of them have become champions. There's Matt Bond Boys, the late heavyweight champion here in WPW, and Denmark, the hardcore champion. KFC and the rest of them still don't get spots? No, well, KFC perennial contenders for the tag team belts. What is? What does the TNE, what is it exactly, what does it say? It stands for Team New Era. What's that? What's a what's a new era? What's a team new era? That Come on, there's got to be more to this, Judge. You said you, you have all day to sit around and watch porn and wrestling. Fill me in. Uh -oh. uh, one of my rats is here. Right there, 
start getting things started off with a very uh, nice thank you to the doctor for ringing the bell. Now, Dinmok here, definitely the smaller man in this match, will have the speed advantage. Do you divide the veteran, though? All right, hold on a second. Before we go any further, we got interrupted. You know, the rats came through the door. Uh, and yeah. TNE! I thought I got off the hook there. Let's, let's explain this. And let's, let's put these guys over where they should be put over. Let, let's, let, let's make sure that everybody understands. Because, I mean, I, honest to God, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to make light of them. I know that Tim Mock is an exceptional, exceptional wrestler. He's out here as a WPW um, hardcore champion. And, and you know, this, uh, this hardcore is not his bag, really, even this, to say the least. He's more of a flyer, as you just see right there. Right. Um, Matt Bomboy, another incredible athlete. Uh, the KMC guys are all incredible athletes. But let's let's kind of define and let's kind of you know get to the bottom of what TNE Team New Era. The guys that banded together. But from there, give us a little bit more, a little more insight. Let's go deeper, Judge. You're the man to do it. Fill us in. Well, I guess they want to be considered to be the next generation of superstars here in professional wrestling, and they're going to take pretty much any any way they can get it. They're going to they're going to do it. They're not up to not above cheating. They've already enlisted the help of the hat, the original hat guy, as their man, one of their managers, and they have Mean Mark Mess as their bodyguard. Um, and those guys will interfere freely in their matches. They're just here to take over. But you mean Big Mark Mess, the pig farmer? I'm not sure if he's a pig farmer or not. I know he's a big, big man. And he's bodyguarding now? Yes, he's a bodyguard. Me, Mark Mest. I thought he was just a pig farmer. I never knew anything about the pig farming, Dan. Really? Yeah. You know what they say about Big Mark Mest? What's that? You can take the boy out of the pig farm, but you can never take the pig farmer out of the boy. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that, actually. Now you do. Now I do. And now he's a bodyguard? Yes, now he's a bodyguard. He is Matt Bomboy's personal bodyguard. He's Dinmok now in the really? concession stand. Do they have a relationship beyond that, maybe? I would hope not, but who knows? Like you said, anything's possible here at WPW. And as you say that, Dino Devon is taking Dinmark all over the, the legendary Riverside Beneficial Association Arena. And he's, he's laying on top of Team New Era. He's got a connect table right now. And now Dinmark climbing up. Maybe he's uh, planning to launch himself, but he does. Four arm to the face. Dino Devon down to the hard wooden floor. Really? And there's a kick to the chest. This is kick. Jim Mock now, is he working his way back in the ring? No, he's going for a pop hand. That's what it is. Ooh. And oh. Dino right down in the seat with a thud. And uh, uh, amazing as it is, Dino was able to find an empty seat right there and happened to fall into that. And now he's in the uh, second or third row. Is this false count anywhere? I didn't know. Apparently it is. As Richie, we still have not established a last name because I cannot think of one off the top of my head, is made the two count on a chair. We're going to go with uh, Richie Baldy Boy. Baldy Boy? Baldy Boy. That's what it is then. Richie Baldy Boy. Now following Dinmok and Dino Divine back to the ring. And Dinmok now with two cookie sheets. Dino Divine working his way uh, through the ring over towards our, our side. Dinmok, as you said, coming up with two cookie sheets. Ring in the ears of Dino Divine. He's going to be uh, hearing bells as of right now. Or, or at least a crank of a cookie sheet. Whips him in. Here's the power advantage of Dino Devon now. It sends him straight over the top to the floor. It's an excellent point, Judge. He's just going to say the same thing. You see that Dinmok struggled to pull Dino out of that corner. And by the time Dino took a step or two out of there, I mean, it was just inevitable that Dino's strength was going to take over. He reversed that and sent Dinmok the whole way reeling over the top rope to the floor. And now, here's where Dino's experience in the hardcore matches is going to come in, get into play. And Dino is a, a, just a rugged, believe me, I've been in the ring with this man, and it is no picnic. No. Um, he is known throughout wrestling circles as Stiff Dino. He's just brutal. Everything he lays on you, you feel it. Not only today, but tomorrow and a week from now, you're still throwing those shots at Dino laid in on you on a Saturday night at the uh, Riverside Beneficial Association Arena. Be it legendary as it is. And now Dino Devon choking Dinmok with a uh, a nice stick. You know, you can look at Dino too. You can see the cold, the, the coldness in his eyes. I mean, uh, he is certainly a black-hearted individual. And, you know, so we got guys out here, from what your description of TNE is, that they're kind of a band of the same type of guys, yes. or at least want to be, um, you know, put into that, that same scheme of things. You know, but I don't know. I don't, you know, Judge, I don't know that you can acquire 
the kind of badness, the meanness, and the black heartedness that Dino Devine is most likely born with. You understand? Well, here comes our members of the Team New Era. Kirk to Keegan now. What is he giving Dinmok? From behind, I don't know, some sort of foreign object slipped it in my it looks like. Bomboy out here now distracting him. Richie Bowie boy is certainly not seeing that. Oh, oh God, flame! Flame! Right into Dio's eyes. Rosie hey, Bomboy now with the count, and that's it. No! I told you, I told you they were stupid at any level to get a victory here. We need a doctor out here for Dino Divine. He, he can be seriously hurt right now. Thank you. 